What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be covering something a little bit different here today guys. It's a video idea that I thought of just the other day and I thought it would be really cool to cover and it is going to be the dumbest part decisions that Mattel has made regarding the WWE figures that we get guys. You know like the wrong torsos, you know the the wrong arms, like you know just the, the literal just what what were you thinking Brad? But today we're going to cover all of the ones that I could think of right off the top of my head. There are a few, I mean, there's a lot of head scans we can put on here, guys. I'm not going to include head scans. I know Wadfigs did a video a while back on the worst head scans, and I may do that video maybe later down the line. But this, for this video, I just wanted to stick to the parts, you know, the torsos, the arms, the whatever. And we're just going to go through it, guys, and I would love to see what your thoughts are afterwards. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started with the first one, and it's probably going to be pretty obvious, guys, but first... Finn Balor has to go here with his demons, guys. We've had three demons, I think, with the... No, we've had four demons. We've had four demons with this torso here. And it's just... It's just... It makes me sick to my stomach, guys. Look, look at this right here. We have the SummerSlam 2016 Balor. We have the Elite 46. And we have the Elite 41. All three of them have that Daniel Bryan style torso. And I want you to look at Daniel Bryan and look at Finn Balor. And you tell me which man is ripped up and which one doesn't care that much about his, you know, his physique as far as his body fat percentage. Look at this right here. I mean, my lord. I understand. I know what the, the excuse is. It's, well, you know, they... Well, Brad, they they couldn't they couldn't paint the the ripped up torso with all that paint detail. But that's that's that can't be true because the network spotlight Finn Balor and the entrance greats Finn Balor both had you know some demon paint on it, and they both you know had uh, they had a, a ripped up torso and it looked beautiful. So I I just don't buy that excuse. I don't know what the excuse is now. I don't think they're gonna do it ever again because ever since we got the uh, the entrance greats, they have not you know went back to the the other one. But we'll have to see. You know when we get this new Jack the Ripper, you know Finn Finn Balor from NXT Takeover London, it's gonna be interesting to see if they actually give us the ripped up torso. Hopefully they do and you know what i mean i'm not gonna lie to you those the finn balor figures with the daniel bryan torso are still really badass figures i love them to death it's just i cannot stand that torso man I, it's not accurate and it it just ruins a figure for me like the action figures are supposed to be a representation of what the guy looks like in real life and how can i do that if if he doesn't have his six his six pack you know what i'm saying so anyways that is the first guy finn balor he had to go here another one that fell into this same category guys is cedric alexander i won't spend too much time on it because we we just talked about Finn Balor, but same thing here, guys, you know, but this one's a little bit different because they showed the figure with the ripped up torso, and then they said, you know what, we're not going to do it that way, and they took it away, and they gave us the Daniel Bryan torso, and so when I got the figure, I had to do a torso switch, and I gave him the old Elite Four Kofi Kingston torso, which makes it look a hundred times better. My God, it looks so much better, and Cedric Alexander deserves, you know, these guys work hard to keep this physique. They, they work hard to keep that low body fat percentage, and I know, I know how hard it is to do and so I think it'd be cool if they could replicate what they actually look like from real life into figure form so I wanted to fix up my Cedric Alexander and that's what I did here it looks a hundred times better and I love it so much next up guys we have this ridiculously ripped up Fandango torso they have given us this twice now we got it with the Elite 27 and we got it with the Elite Series 61 I do believe and look at this right here guys do you think that this looks like Fandango? Look at how ripped up this man is. And I know Fandango's in fantastic shape. I know he looks good. And he deserves to have abs on his figure. But this right here is absolutely crazy how ripped up they made this man. It's like uh, the old Jax figures back in the day when they used to over, just over-exaggerate the hell how big they were. That's what it reminds me of here with this Fandango. And I totally torso switched mine. I gave him a Randy Orton torso or Dolph Ziggler torso torso and it looks a whole lot better i like it a lot better even you could have given him you know the mizdow torso or the triple h network spotlight torso would have been a lot better but this torso is so jacked i mean it makes no sense to me like it, it i i literally i can't name a guy who this would look good on to be honest with you but 
Uh, I, I had to add this Fandango. I, I remember. I think this is one of my most ridiculous, and um, I, I had to add it here. The next one that we do have, guys, is the Elite 50 Rhino. Yes, the Elite 50 Rhino. Everybody knows the infamous Rhino, guys. They made this man's shoulders the size of literal boulders in this in this man's action figure. Look at how massive these shoulders are. And I actually doing some research on this on this video and and on these parts choices. I googled Rhino just to you know look at it because I. I I love Rhino. I've always been a fan of Rhino. Growing up as a kid, he used to be one of my favorites. So when I looked him up, I was like, damn, he does have some big ass shoulders. Like he he has massive shoulders. Like I literally saw it. Um, if you Google his name and look at his pictures, his shoulders are massive, but I don't think it translates well to figures. And I still think it was a bonehead decision when um, when you look at it here. I just don't like uh, that. I just don't think it replicated well. It's it's pretty. I mean, it's uh, it's fairly accurate when you look when you Google it and compare it to the figure. But I think when you make it that big and you put it on an action figure, I just don't think that the way their figures are made it really translates well from real life to action figure form. So I think going with a smaller shoulder would have looked a lot better and uh so that that i wanted to put this here because it's it's pretty funny if uh i i did do a shoulder swap with mine i don't have a photo of it here but i did do a shoulder swap with mine it looks a whole lot better it makes it look you know 10 times better and it makes that figure actually playable and you know look good and not uh, you know just like what what the crap am i looking at but there's rhino he had to go on here i'm sure a lot of people were expecting to see him here and there he is right there next up guys we are going to talk about the brand new not brand brand new but it is brand new we have the elite series 67 velveteen dream here guys and the reason he is on here is that jack torso i just do not know why we got this torso with this velveteen dream i know that that Velveteen Dream is absolutely, you know, jacked. He looks good. He's got the low body fat percentage. He he looks great. He's very jacked. He, he looks great. He's in amazing shape. He's vascular. He's got all the good stuff going on. However, he is just not as big as Triple H. And, you know, they gave him the Triple H torso. They gave him the Batista torso. And it's just like, no. They even gave him the John Cena torso. John Cena's had this torso before. And I just don't like it for him. I just think it's way too jacked. It's way too big. You know, Triple H, he's got that bodybuilder tone to him. He's got big shoulders big chest, you know, really big arms, just massive dude, 6'4", freaking just gigantic man, and then you have Velveteen Dream, who's more lean and smaller, you can see the comparison in the body, so I don't like this torso choice, I just don't know what they were thinking with this one, I don't know, maybe they thought that it would fit the, the legs better, you know, those longer leg, that longer leg mold that Velveteen Dream has, his figure, but, um, I think that the I had to do a fix up with mine as well. I know a lot of people have used the Rich Swan slash Kofi Kingston torso, and it looks really really good. And then you have the the one I used was the Shelton Benjamin Elite 63 torso, and I like that one just as much. I think both of them can work. I I just think that the Shelton Benjamin one looks better. I think it looks more like his actual torso, um, but I, I still like either one of these will work for me. I like the Rich Swan torso, and I like the Shelton Benjamin one, so I could actually work with it either one. But I definitely had to put this on here because it literally doesn't make sense why they would give him this massive jack torso like I, I just don't understand that one so the, I, I wanted to add that one here and then the last WWE action figure you know part choice that drives me up the freaking wall and I wish that I could replace all of my figures like this is AJ Styles. AJ Styles, guys, they have given him this small torso since Elite Series 47, his first Elite figure um, from the Royal Rumble. Um, this is a picture of him from the Royal Rumble. I'm pretty sure this is literally his first match in WWE. And you can see, look at his torso and tell me that he deserves this small AF Daniel Bryan torso. I just don't like it. To be honest with you, I don't even like the Daniel Bryan torso for the Daniel Bryan. Like, I think that a Tully Blanchard or a Arn Anderson could work for him. It doesn't bother me as much with Daniel Bryan because he's a smaller guy. Like, it's known he's a smaller guy. And I know AJ Styles is short, but you could give him a better torso than the Daniel Bryan torso. Look at this custom right here. This is from G Natty, I believe. Uh, Angel made this for him, you know, his customizer, and he does wonderful job. He does a wonderful job. Here's a WrestleMania 32 custom AJ Styles, and just look at this figure, guys. He used the Sin Cara torso much, much better. It just looks so much better. It makes the AJ Styles figures look so much better. I honestly, I think I would take the Seth Rollins torso over over the torso that they give us. I just think that it, they make AJ way too small. Like, 
I have a picture of um, a Shinsuke Nakamura up next to an AJ Styles figure, and AJ is just tiny. And I know AJ Styles is like 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 but they make him tiny. He is, his arms aren't tiny. His torso is not tiny. He's not a tiny man. He just is a little on the short side, and I think it's messed up that we get this small torso. And so now all of my AJ Styles figures have this small torso when it would look 100 times better with this Sin Cara torso, but it would literally take a lot of money and a lot of you know investing and a lot of customizing to get them all accurate. It would probably be worth it, though, because, I mean, they, it looks so good. The, the Sin Cara torso on the AJ Styles figures, it's, it's impeccable to look at. I really do enjoy it, and it looks a hundred million times better. I got. If you guys want to see what that looks like in closer detail, I know G Natty has made a bunch of custom AJ Styles. Maybe I can plug some here in the video. But they they look so much better with that Sin Cara torso. It's kind of ridiculous how much better they look. But I think that pretty much does it for all of the crazy parts choices that Mattel has done. At least that come to my mind. I'm trying to think of more, and maybe we can do another part series on this. I I'm, now that I'm sitting here, I may can think of one or two more. But they're not, you know, abs. I, I didn't want to go with any of them that are debatable i wanted to go with the ones that were just like oh, okay what what is what is this you know what i'm saying so Maybe we can do this down the line and we can tweak it, do some other things. But I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think on uh, on my choices. If there's anything here in the video today that you don't agree with, maybe you think that Finn Balor having the Daniel Bryan torso is okay. Maybe you think that, you know, you know what, screw you, Brad. Rhino, Rhino should have had those massive shoulders. Or, you know, maybe you like the Velveteen Dream's massive torso. I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Um, and also, if there's any future figures you want me to talk about, that have problems like this, please let me know. You know, the basics are absolutely terrible, but everybody knows that. Don't want to make a video on that. There's also head scans we could do. There's also a lot of other things that we could plug in here and talk about, and I would love to do so. So if you have any recommendations, guys, I would love to hear it down in the comment section below. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.